Speed, 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 and more speed. And that was the focal point of the entire, entire class. Um, and I, like I said, I was talking about it all off season. We feel we match up at the line of scrimmage with anybody in the country, uh, certainly anybody in the Pac-12. I think we proved that this year and the, actually the last three years as far as being able to uh, play run defense, uh, run the football offensively, uh, get sacks with our front four. And so we feel like that's been a matchup that, is, that has been in our favor or at least on equal footing. But uh, we needed to improve the speed and athleticism at the perimeter or on the perimeter. And that really is something that uh, jumps out at you when you look at this class. There's a bunch of guys that are in the 10-4 to 10-8, 100 meter range in this class. That, uh, and that's what we, we need that desperately. Certainly the fastest, and that was our objective, is, is to recruit speed. Uh, it was very thin on the line. You know, we only recruited uh, the one offensive lineman, like I mentioned. And by the way, that offensive lineman is doing a fantastic job. Jackson Barton, he's here right now with us. He, was, he joined us at mid-year uh, mid and has just done a great job uh, in all aspects. And so we're, we're related with him. In fact, he was the, uh, Freddie told me that he was the, the highest rated high school uh, recruit that we've ever signed here, and he's uh, as advertised so far. That's another good question. I can tell you that without a doubt, uh, that's happening more and more. Uh, I look back uh, eight or 10 years ago, and the freshmen in the recruiting class, uh, you know, I think there was one or two that didn't redshirt. In, in those classes you know, 10 years ago. Last year, it was just about half that didn't redshirt. And so you're seeing more and more of the freshmen having an impact and playing earlier. And uh, I don't think that trend's gonna go away. So to answer your question, yes, we, we think there's gonna be uh, multiple guys that, that help us this fall, but I don't wanna single anybody out until we have a chance to uh, see him firsthand on the field. We know we do in Caden Clay. He'll be here in uh, a matter of uh, days, maybe a week or two on the outside. Uh, he was our JC receiver that we, we signed. Um, Kendrick Young, extremely fast, talented receiver from Florida. And then uh, Raylan uh, from uh, Texas that, that we feel really good about. And he's been committed to us for a long time. And so we think that those guys are going to be in the mix. We're, we've lost, we lost uh, I think it was three senior receivers this year. And so there is opportunity for those guys to come in and, and uh, play right away, certainly have an impact right away. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a common thing, not, not real typical. Uh, at receiver, one of them was at receiver, uh, Caden Clay. It gives us immediate help. We have an immediate need at that position. Uh, he's a slot receiver. Uh, and so we felt that uh, the one for one with our small senior class, we only have 16 seniors on this year's roster coming up in, in 2014. So, so uh, the initials are not going to be an issue. You know, you're going to be up against the 85 count uh, rather than the 25 count. And so a one-for-one one guy doesn't really impact you as far as down the road in that regard. Now, if you had a big senior class and you needed to replace more guys, it would have an impact. But, but uh, we feel that he will contribute right away. He's an explosive. Um, he's a return guy, explosive receiver, an excellent return guy as well. And he does so many things so well that we figured that the, the sacrifice of one for one was, was well worth it. And we anticipate him coming in and playing right away. The other, Tevin Carter, we signed him last year, actually in the class, didn't qualify. And uh, we stuck with him and, and our need at safety is, is much like our need at, uh, at uh, wide receiver where we figure it's worth the, uh, worth the investment. I would tell them not to worry about that. The bigger indicator is, uh, in my opinion, of how well you've recruited as players in the NFL. And we're in the top half of the Pac-12 in that. I think that's a better barometer because recruiting is just speculation. It's what do you have, what do you don't have, you don't know. But uh, the guys in the NFL, you know exactly what you had. And so I think our guys have done a, we have a very good track record over a long period of time of recruiting very good athletes. And if you watch the Super Bowl, uh, there was an interesting, some interesting studies done on the number of five-star, four-star, three-star players, and the vast majority of those players are three and two-star or not even rated. And, uh, and so it's really recruiting always will come down to evaluation and projection, how well you can evaluate and project. And uh, there's only a handful of five-stars in the country. I don't know how many there are a year, 25, 30 in the, in the nation. And those guys are obviously very talented, but it's, the, it's your evaluation of the three, the two-star, those guys that really makes the difference. And I think our coaches have done a great job of evaluating those guys. Because if you look at all the guys we have in the NFL, I think they were all two, three-star guys. And so that's uh, really a better barometer of how you've recruited than than uh, what you see on paper immediately. When, when you watch his highlight tape, he's, he's, he's fast, he's explosive. Uh, you know, he's just a, a tremendous athlete with great speed and he's got good size as well. And so he's, uh, and that's why he was sought after by those SEC schools and, and others. And uh, it's, a, it's a big plus for us. Like I said, the, 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 uh, the talent that we were able to bring in from the South this year, 
I think is going to prove to be a, a huge benefit to us.